Gaudi é foda, né? Okay, this video today will be based on trading cards, what you should know and not know as far as like when you go to a car show, based on how to try to sell or buy. And knowing that the car game is just like stock. It can go up, it can go down. And I'm gonna show you the difference between graded cars, which you see in front of you, and base cars, just what they consider raw cars. That's not in uh, that, that has not been graded and has uh, been certified by, you know, the condition of the car. Um, what people expect when you go to these shows and it just make it more quick on sale to have a graded car versus a raw car. Now, what's in front of you, what you see, these, these are graded cars. No, I'm trying to get the camera, get the light. As you see, is in, in this case. But they already got, they got a serial and bar number. And it's the grader. I'm gonna go over, a, a, so I want you to see that. Definitely, you see all these subgrades. And what you see in these subgrades, it say centering, edge, corner, and surface. And then you got an overall number, a nine mean. And then it is giving you the, the, the date, year, and when the card, the person who made the card, um, what type of card it is, and it's num what number the card is and the player and the grader. So these are important things you should definitely know. It's our two top graders that people look for in the business. That is, number one is PSA. Well, this is PSA. This is what they, grade, they sell grades look like. They have their say, PSA. Most people prefer to have the PSA due to the fact because of their name, they stand on their product just no different. It's like a Coca-Cola or Sprite. If, if that make, makes uh, make any sense. And it's a, it's a man, the camera just doing no just work with me, y'all. And it's a nine overall. Now the difference is between Becky, Pierce, and this other subgrade. I'm not, I'm just the top two. Then you have uh, SGC. This is what theirs look like. You can see their name on their on brand. You see even their grades look a little different. So I'm also going to my car show today and I'm going to show y'all what that's like when you go to a small car show. And this is, I'm jumping variable, so y'all work with me. This is the car show place that I'm going to. GCS It's a small um, trading spot in um, Atlanta, one of the, the metro areas. And that's the area. And it's one of the guys you can call if you ever in Atlanta, you're doing. But one of the big trading card spots and they have them in multiple locations throughout the country is Coastal Collision Trading Show. They had this here every year in Atlanta, but it's not just in Atlanta. They have them also Chicago, one of the biggest one, Dallas, Miami. Um, let me see, Dallas, Miami, Chicago, Atlanta. So I don't ever do no travel because I hate to go somewhere spend money, it's a gamble and not making the money. So these are the grade cards and I'm gonna explain them. And then these are what consider raw card that you remember having as a kid, but you probably had them in a book or the uh, penny sleeve. These are, these are called raw cards. They not graded. And you might have plenty of these sitting in your box. You might have plenty of them sitting in your book. And to you by the neck eye, it looks good. And we're gonna go over the things I was talking about, them subgrades. Another thing you should know when you go to a, a trading spot, already have your prices together before you get there because you're gonna have people like, what you want for the card, uh, how much the card is, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna speak on that, how you do that as well. So this here is something I write for myself. So when I go, this is my list of the cars I have, there's some expensive to low, what I paid for them. And then you see MP, which is abbreviation for me, that, that gonna be considered market price. This side, you're gonna see between what I paid and taxes. Like, you know, taxes change the price. And then you see over here with the MP, with the MP as far as market price. The market price would set the value of the car, not what you think the car is worth. 
keep that in mind. I'm gonna show you how you can look that up. And then I do another list. Same thing. So when you get ready to go to a trading card spot, you already need to know what you what the car is worth, what you put in, and versus what it's gonna sell, what it's selling for on the market. Now keep in mind, just cause of what you pay for a car, say for a car, you pay for a car fifteen hundred dollars at that time. It probably was worth that on the market when you bought it. Now that's what you got invested in. Now the market price can change. Say next week a person get hurt, a player get traded, a person not performing. You know what I mean? The value of the car can start to drop. And it's kind of just not only is it just like stock, it also just kind of like poker in a sense. Like you need to know when to hold a card, when to sell the card, or fold a card. And what I mean by that is hold a card. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just gonna wait before I sell it. And then when you sell the car, this is the time I need to go and sell it now while it's hot. Uh, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? in hand, like, y'all come to an agreement. Now, I'm gonna show you on the phone how you can look all this stuff up. I know you probably wanna know how you can get some appraised, but that's hard to say how you get a car appraised. You have to go by what's the value of the market that set the price for the car, and that'd be, similar to just like, you know, being appraised. Like you might say, I don't want to sell a car, I just want to know how much it is. Well, if that's the case, if you want to know what it'll sell for, today's marketing anywhere, the most reliable source is eBay when it comes to trading cars. And, and keep in mind, I know I'm speaking um, specifically just about cars, but you can use eBay, not only for cars, comic books, video games, antiques, anything, to see what the value, what it'll go for on the market. And I know you keep hearing me saying market. So let's let's look up that what I mean by that. Okay. So here we go. We have I'm using my other phone, which is my business phone. And I'm gonna just look up some of the cards. Now, for example, with the two raw cards, before I get back to that, I want to show you something. You see, I got two cards that look primarily the same, right? Now they're the same as far as identical how the car looks, but they're not the same. What you mean by that? If you look a little closer, this card is gold. Like how you see up here, it's gold. And then this one's silver. I, I don't know if you see the difference between the color coloration of the card. Now, you might be like, what, what point is that if they, they the same cards? Well, with the companies that made it, and you, you probably, we grew up, if you from, if you grew up in the 90s trading cars, like I'm an 80s baby, so I grew up in the 90s, it used to be Tops, um, Dead, it used, it used to be Tops, let me see, who, who else was, was at that time that was making the cars? Um, Tops, they was one on Upper Deck, yeah. It used to be Tops and Upper Deck, and then it was, it was one more used to be the uh they used to, they used to make cars just like how you have a competitor like you got Reebok Nikes they would they was some of the forefront people who made make uh cars at that time they no longer made so it's another company that made cars and they the, they the top dog called Panini some of these newer cars you see in these glasses are Panini not this one that's tops Panini 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 no that's not for me, though. That, that's still top. Uh, so, I don't want to lose y'all tra translation. Just work with me. I'm just trying to, trying to put the information out there for those who it might be helpful. If you're just curious about how you can make money off your cars and cars that you already have, you grew up for like 30 years, uh, 40 years, what the, what the prices of them cars worth. So, you might want to know that. You might have stuff sticking in a box, might be in a, in a book. And you want to know how to quote them prices. So what you'll do, just use this example, because it is it's different variations of the cars that can be more than the other car. Like I choose this one, for example, with Derek Carr. I told you one silver, one gold. But if you got a uh, a raw, a raw car, which is not in not been graded, like you see in these hard, these hard cases, been subgraded, got a total overall condition. It's just like you 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 get them. To be a prey, they got they got serial numbers and everything. So what you'll do is we'll put that down. Go to my 
better. You come here, go to eBay, right? This ain't the best bitch. Okay. I wish I was using the phone on recording with because I already got the downloads to my app. I don't have this on download. So here in the search box, the video gonna be probably long. You will type in the information. You'll do how you can feel. I say like right here to the bottom. How you see what it say 2022 Panini Absolute. You can put all that in or just do it like this. Uh, Typing in. See, I got that. I'm gonna put the play in. And when you put that in, like how you see, you also want to put the number in. Like how you see that number right there? You put that in. And how you do that is go put the number uh, 63. So just like that. So I'm going to go to search. Be like done. We're gonna pull the card up. Now you see this right here, and I showing you what people want. Now this the difference between what a car selling for and what it sold. Now you you'll be like, what's the difference? Now selling is what you want to sell the car for, so you put a number out there on the market uh, with the card you want you want to sell it for. This is not this is not true. What I mean by not true is that uh you can't go based off what somebody want for the car. You gotta go by what the car sold for on the market so how you do that so we'll go down here you see right here where it say filter so we're gonna see what the market price sell for Damn, did I do it? Right, man. Oh, hold on sorry about that it's a little different with the, the iPhone versus my Android phone so okay I'm trying to do it for so we'll mass filter. If you already had an app of eBay download to your phone, if you enter this type of stuff, you already will have this app downloaded. So you'll go to filter. You'll scroll right here with say show more. And as you say show more, you'll come all the way down to where it say sold item. You'll click on that. So you'll, you'll click on sold item, show 15 results. So now you see the green, right? So when you see the green, that means what it actually sold for. So you have to be a realist. Say you, I got this card and I want to sell it for $5. You're going to have to go by the market price. And anybody that's in this type of business, in the trading business, on far as cards or anything for that matter, they're going to always go to this. And you can't be like, oh, yeah, I want $5 for the card. And the card sold for a dollar and 49 that would be the market price so that'd be what it sold for like they click on it yeah. uh, go back and find that that card so anything you see in green that's what set the price for it and then you see all these different other variations of the same card but they different and you say well that price that that price that because it's it's a difference between if a car is a Red is considered a base card. Base card is just a plain card that you got a base, you got a refractor, you got a number card. There's so many di different variations of these cards. Like, okay, we found the one that we had, right? You see, that's that base card already sold. No, no, that's not. That's a silver card. I don't know if you can tell. Didn't see how it's more shiny, more glossy than, than this base card, just regular base card, silver. I'm just showing you how you can look up cards you already have. So that's the reason I use this card, these two cards, for example. Uh, what that's 
silver card. So that's a silver. Trying to make a video this long. Just trying to cover everything that I'm make sure I'm covering. And you see other different variations. You have a green wave. You have a, a silver card. You have a, a base. But anything in green, that's what the market price, how much that card is worth. So if you if if I lost you in that, uh, put your I mean put a comment below and I'll try to explain it better. I'm already in 15 minutes in this video on this on this part. But that would be how you would find a price on what it what it's worth, not what somebody's selling for it. Like when we go back, I'm gonna go back. Camera ain't doing me no just man. I right, give me a GoPro or something. See, all these in black, this is what a person want for the car. But like I showed you before in green, that's what it sell for. That's how you know how much the card is worth. The market price sets the value of the car. And keep this in mind, say for a car might be worth $300 one day. Like I told you, based on if a player got there and get hurt, get traded, uh, or some sort of different format, the car would drop, drop value or it can go up. Um... So now with the gray cards, I'm gonna show you the different, the best, what's the best type of car you should be having? Okay, now today, and it was a couple cards back then you didn't know, you have cards that are like this, a, re, a refractor, it's a black refractor. Now there's a couple refractors, you got a regular refractor, uh, uh dang man, you got a regular refractor, X refractor, and you're like, well, how you can tell the difference? They're gonna be color code as you see, it's gonna have a gloss, but another thing you tell is gonna be numbers. So I mean they was limited on how many cars these made. Like this black refractor Dwayne Wade card is only 500 cars was ever made of this particular card. And you know, I have mines with 118. Like I told you, and then when they be subgrade, and this is Becky, this is one of the second best graders that dealers be looking for, if not PSA being number one. Now you see right here how it, it say centering, 8.5 edge, 9.5 corners, 9.5 surface, 9.5. So what that mean is when you see the 9.5, that mean the surface of the car. Do it have any scratches? That mean 9.5, if you get a 10, that mean the car is perfect. If this right here was 10 all around with these subgrade, it it'd be a black label. Which, you know what I'm saying, be hard to find. If you got a car just 10 and it's in a gold label, let's see if I have a gold. Well, I don't have a, I don't have a 10 gold, but the 9.5 and Becky, they are hard graders. Now, that's a 9.5, and this one don't have subgrades. Um, maybe so much to cover in this. Try to make these real quick. So, in the centering, the centering means from the car imprint from left, I'm sorry, from left to right, up and down. The edges is the edge of the card, like if it have any wear and tear. And then the, uh, let me see, the corners. The corners are the spikes from the end. From one, two, to the end. So when these cards be sent off and they get an overall grade on that card, you will know if if it's, uh, if the card, you know what I'm saying, a perfect card. Now you might look at this card right here. It look perfect. It ain't got no surface, really scratch damage to the naked eye, but some of the guys take a magnified glass and they look at everything about the car. From, from like I told you, these are the corners. It's the edge. If the, if the, if the center is it's the, it's the print of the car, if it's printed more to the left, to the right, from up to down, it makes a difference if the car is perfect. You want to get anything with a nine, a nine and 10. And hell, sometimes I know you see some of these seven five, but it depends on the particular car of like this one right here. This car here with Damian Lillard, I think in his, uh, junior, his, his, his junior year in the NBA, this is a memorabilia card, and it's and it's a one of one, and it's a with the memorabilia is the jersey. These are the type of cards you be want when you get into the trading business. You want cards that memorabilia like jersey. If I'm saying it right, y'all excuse me. Number cards like this one right here. You can't. I don't know if you can see it. It's a one of one. So what that means? This is the only card one on one of this copy of this card. There's, there's no other copy of this particular card like how you see these. Like you see this, these not number cards. They made many of these cards, like, but in different variations of them. So that would that would mean like there's not a number card. Like it's, it's, it's many prints out of these. 
This is the only one print with a one on one of this card. And it's, it's a gold. It's, it's a gold memorial, memorabilia, treasure, Damien Lillard, one on one. And it's graded. And like I told, this is a, a, a refractor. So you got to look at as far as refractors and being numbered, like number cards. So the best thing when getting cards like you want number cards, memorabilia cards like jerseys, number, rookies. Like we got another rookie, we got a rookie card right here with the Aaron Fox and his number. 11 out of 25. And this, this number, auto, auto mean with they signature and a jersey. So it's three all in one and a rookie card. And by you having uh, good success in the lead right now, it even make the value of the price go up as well. But you always, even with these right here and with graded card, it make it even more easy to look at, the, look at the card because you already have on the label the uh, the number, where the card is, a collection, and then you know what I'm saying, the number, and then you put in the grade, you put in the subgrade as well too, like 8.5, and you put in whoever the grade is, like Becky. But you you abbreviate that with uh, BSG. So that's when you have to put the whole Becky and they just put grade, you'll have grade on it. So let's, let's, let's see if we find that, so hold on. So we're gonna put in this grade so, so y'all know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna clear that out. Okay, so you know you had to type all that in. So I did a little bit off camera. So what you see now, the prices, these are bids. You will also see people in, in the process of bidding. You see what it say bid, five days and 10 hours, and then they do all the shipping. Car 900, 825. You know what I mean? It depends on the number of the car. That's a 75, he want 900. So these are what people want. Let's see what the market price go for. You see 19,000, but see, that's a different, that's a gold chrome. And then there's a, it's a 8.5, it's a rare card. I could click in and show you what I mean. But just give you an example. So let's go see what the market price set for this card. And I told you, when you get ready to go to trading card spot, you need to already do this and have a list the day before you go to a show. So therefore you don't have to worry about sitting there trying to pull your phone out when a, a, a dealer is asking how much you want for the car or I give you this so you already know the price of the car so they don't try to cheat you because they'll try to cheat I'm going to show you something when I go to the car show as well show you a little small show car show So you see this in that green. You see, sold October 27, 2023 for $816.56. That is the market price. You can always look it up because it's always public record on eBay. And what that was, and that was a grade nine. Let's see what see how it always look like. Uh, 
he had a good one too. He had a higher number too. And what I mean by higher number is the uh, which number it was out of 500. He had 54 out of 500. And you know, mine is uh, 118 out of 500. You saying what that mean? Nothing, nothing is much, but it's still the same card. And what was his sub grade? Let's see what his sub grade was. First is mine. Yeah. His center run was a eight five. My center is not eight five. His edge was a ten. Mine's a nine five. His corner was a 9.5. His surface was a 9.5. And mine's also was a 9.5, 9.5. His the only thing his was better than mine's was the edge. But at the end of the day, it was still great overall a 9. So that lets you know how much that car going for. <laughs> so I'm going uh, to time back on y'all when I get to the video. But keep in mind, guys, when it comes to certain cars, you should be looking for when you buying into it versus that if you already had these cars growing up and you send them to G, I mean on um, BGS or PSA to get graded and come back then you profit all the money but then again let's say you buy it offline or you buy it at a car show and whatever you pay for it and then you try to get the car and flip it for mo more money that don't work that way because they're going to look at what the market price set for how much that car is worth right now and then even the car market price 893 a dealer might want to try to because a dealer gonna try to try to lowball you a little more because if they pay the market, the eight ninety three was worth on the market and then versus trying to sell it then a person like myself or anybody else gonna be like well that's not what the, the market price is they call that comp they call it comp comp is the market price they'll try to get you if it's eight nine three sell it to me for a seven forty three but you got already invested in the car they said thousand dollars so you just lost to them like probably a hundred and plus dollars off versus what you pay for the car worth 863 you got you got a thousand dollars to give an example you probably lose 53 dollars and they ask you to go a little lower than that it got to make sense for both parties y'all got to make sense for you it got to make sense for them now the part you stand your ground is i'm only gonna sell nothing less than what the market price is you can do that if they want the car bad enough they'll do that or y'all come to some sort of agreement or you would be like, nah, I got this much investing, I just wait. That's that fold, like, <clears throat> I'm just gonna wait on it before I sell it. Cause it's, it's a possibility that the car will go back up after some other time. Don't, guys, don't undervalue yourself just cause you tired of having the car and you wanna get them off. But it's all on you. Keep in mind, say for example, again, you might have the same car, the car might be on the market worth $3,800, right? Say for example, next week, a person already had his car, they tired of sitting on the car, and they decide to sell it to somebody who don't search and look at the car and sell it for three three grand. Like I told you, one week from the other week, it'll go from being higher to lower, and now you lose money regardless of what you had in it. Cause now you gotta sell it, nothing less than what the market price is. You can't go over it, it has to make sense. Everybody in the business to make money. But not only with these cars, you can do the same, the way I showed you with comic books, all you gotta do is just type it in in the eBay, go in the search box. For hopefully you already had an app downloaded where you can do that and um and you can search whatever it is. It could be anything, cars, comic books, antiques, hell, you can sell uh television, you can sell anything on eBay. Somebody might want. And based on the condition of it, you get more value out of it. The worse the condition, the more less value out of it. So I'm doing, I'm going to do some other stuff all in clips. And the, uh, the next one you see me on is going to be going to the car show. I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of one of them little small car shows I'm going to, which I already showed you. This is what it is. And I need to go over all my other cards um, before I even start talking about trying what I'm going to sell for. But the things you want to keep in, you want to keep refractive cards, which you'll see there'll be different colorations. You want number cards. Cause they be rarity on how many was made. You want jersey cards, one on ones. You want auto number. You want number. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Ah, the camera ain't doing no just, man. 
you want a number card, auto card, which you see, and you want a jersey. And if you can get a rookie card, it just make it all much better, man. You be some things you want to look for when you get into the car business. If I didn't give the best ex explanation, y'all let me know in the best. And then, like, you see how this one was a black refractor? It is, is from one to 500. I got another refractor card, a Ray Allen card. Now, this is an X fractor. I told you so many of them. You see how the number get lower and lower? It's one through 222, 222 of these cars that ever made. They get rare and rare. Make the price go up. So I'll turn back in y'all when I get to the show. I'm, try, I'm not gonna try to stay out alone. Give y'all a, a visual of what I be talking about. Like it's so many people, it don't matter what background you from. And when I do do the, the um, coaching collision, I'm definitely gonna do one, but that being in February when it comes to Atlanta. But uh, the, these places had them all over some of the major cities, but they're car trading places. You just have to find them. You gotta know putting a research for trading cars, comments, with anything, I mean, even video game, retro perspective. It's, it's a lot of stuff, guys. And I just, I've I been wanting to do this video because I'm, I'm losing my, I lost my passion for this. This, this, this stuff is money and time consuming. And you gotta, you gotta have money. You gotta have the time. You gotta have the patience. And you gotta understand what you're doing when you get into it. It took a while for a guy to show me how to look at the car. Cause the, the crazy thing is why I'm doing this. I had a Steph Curry Ricky card that I had bought out the pack when I first got it. And I didn't know what the car was worth. I knew when we was coming up in the 90s back then, you know, it was when you were doing the trading cards, it was based on what a person's career would do if they become a future Hall of Famer, champion, individual, accolades, all them things had matter. And then over time, having a car over years, it would end up being more money. But that's different into nowadays business. Cause it is a business. You have a prospect person, car who just come in the, in the league, ain't did nothing, as considered a rookie, what he's ex expected to do can be worth more than someone that's already a future Hall of Famer. And them the cars, you want to know if you want to hold, sell, or just you know see how they turn out. But it's just like stock, guys. Keep in mind, you want to get them off as quick as possible if you can. I'm just gonna be be honest with you. Like, but it's based off your preference, because I don't have also people who had the cars and like, oh, I had as, as a kid, child, me too. I got a lot of cars I had. At, none of these cars I grew up with, none of these, but the ones I did have in my box as a child, and I might put it in this video, might not, or I might do another video. They, they raw cars. I didn't know nothing about the graded cars until about two, three years ago. And I learned quick about the business. You know, you just want to be cautious what you do, do your homework, your research. Make sure you already looked up the price and value of the car before you go to the car show so, and have a list written down so you'll know what you want to sell it for if you want to underbid, like y'all work something out. So that's when you don't have to keep trying to research through your phone, trying to pull this out, this, that. I mean, you'll be there all day, man, if you got a bunch of cars. Don't already do it a day before or that morning before you go to the car show. Know what you want to do. So I'm I'm a, um, just trying to make sure I cover everything. I'm probably leaving something out because I want to rush and get to the show and get back. So, know what you're getting into when you get into the cards, knowing what type of car to have, what you invest in, and what you're willing to put in, because you will lose with these cards too. It's a lot of money that can be made with these cards, and I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, I made, at one of the uh, culture collision cards, I, I made about 6,000, you know, but I lost more than I put in. That was after sitting on a year later, waiting on a big show to try to rec recruit some of my money, but I had, no, 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 I'm, I'm lying. I made about almost 8,000. I made it I made it about 6,000 within two hours. You know what I mean? And I made about five, about, about four grand within about 30 minutes. But you gotta think I invested about 12 grand into the cars, so I lost. But most people look at it like, well, you, you pay for the knowledge. Nah, hell no, nah, I didn't. I paid, you know what I'm saying, to make money, not lose money, but just like anything you get in, that's part of the game if you don't know. It took me a while to, to figure it out. There's my really second go, go around with some of these cards. I got a bunch of more cards to the side and in a box. 
But just know what you're getting to before you get into. Do your homework, your research on it. Look up the cars, look at what the prices are, what they value. And also look at other cars to see um, if that's a car you worth getting in that can be a big investment to you or not. And just start off small. Like, just don't go broke dealing with these cars if it's something that you get into to flip to make money. Now, if you already had these cars and you see them get great off, then you gain because you already had a car. You just send them to get graded. You can send them to Beckett, PSA, or, you know what I'm saying, uh, SGC. But the top, you know what I'm saying, graders are PSA number one, which this going with what PSA going to look like. You're going to have their they logo, PSA. You can Google them. The single car graded, and then Beckett. That's what Beckett logo look like. And then you got, you know, uh, that's what uh, SGC grading look. These some of the three top dogs. And uh, later I'll show you, well, probably not this video, who the other grader is, the other graders. Oh, matter of fact, I got one. Hold up. Let me see. Let me show you one to stay away from. You see that? I learned the hard way. Don't get no GMA. People at car shows do not respect this GMA grade. They feel like they ain't been around longer and they misgrade cars the way they're supposed to be. So keep in mind, guys, stay with the PSA, Beckett, and uh, no uh, SGC. So I'm locked back in. I'm already in almost 40 minutes. There's money in the cars. You can lose a whole lot of money investing in these cars. Keep in mind, just like stock, it go up, it go down. What you put in the car, not necessarily what you might get back out of the car. Sometimes you gain, sometimes you win. You, it goes down undervalue more than you gain some some cases. But depend on the type of car, you know what I'm saying, make the difference. That doesn't really lose much value, like a LeBron James rookie car. Man, it, it's a hours, man, going through some of the stuff. So I'm just covering some of the bases with you guys. Um, so for people who just trying to know, Try and get in the business, try and already have cars, how you can, can look up to see how much the car is worth on the market, what you can get out of it. I, I gave you a demonstration with the raw cars, like for the people who already had the raw cars and they, they boots, all you gotta do is look at behind of, look at the uh, when it was manufactured, 2002 Panini, Absolute, um, put in the play after you put in the, after you, after you put in the number, who made it, the player and the number, it'll pull up. And then remember what I told you about going for is like, don't go by what somebody's selling it for. That's just what they asking for. Go by based on what it's sold for. I showed you in this in this in this video. So I'm locked back in with y'all. Oh yeah, so that's what I wanted to mention to you. When it comes to cars, don't just stay in one 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 type of sport of car. Like Money is not just in basketball, it's in basketball, football, baseball, soccer, comic, I mean, uh, Marvel cars, Pokemon cars are real big, uh, Dragon Ball Z cars are real big, uh, any of them type of cars that go for money, it's not just, no, you, you wanna, cause you gotta think, people want a variety of a lot of things too, besides just basketball. They mean football, baseball, soccer, soft, Soccer, like you need to know a little about everything. Like for as basketball and football, I'm good at. When it comes to baseball, soccer, I'm weak at. When it comes to like Pokemon card, that'd be my son. When it comes to like, say for example, I got other cards. I got the Marvel cards. Just give you an example. It just depends on on like I told you, these type of cards. Now also keep in mind, like say for all them cars that you got and you buy it packs, everything is profitable. What I mean by that, like you got cars you bought at the store and you don't want to take the time to go through it, like sell it, sell it for a dollar. You could lose, you could win. But keep in mind, don't just put any cars in that box when you put a sign for like for sale. Like had a good the good place. Know who's hot, who what what's who's hot, what's hot, put them in a the box, put them in the penny sleeves. They shouldn't cost much. I'm gonna go to the show and see how much they is. You can always look penny sleeves off Amazon, eBay. You know what I mean? Or you know what I mean? I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web for. Yeah. Siri, series, series, series. Hush. 
y'all excuse me, man. I don't know why she ended up popping. That's my other phone. Um, like I said, you can sell anything for a dollar. Everything is marketable. Everything has value. You just gotta know what I'm saying. Know the game. Know the business. When you're doing this type of stuff, like I said, do your research. Do your home your homework. Don't get rid of nothing. You can set everything profitable. Say you buy a pack. They five. They say you buy a pack. Fifteen cars in the pack for about two dollars. A good player. You know what I'm saying? When I told you to research and look at how much the market price is, you don't feel like going through all that. Put a pen sleeve, put in it for a dollar. Rookie car is good to keep too, even if you don't know them. Cause you don't know what the prospect of that player might turn out to be. So just keep in mind, guys, everything is profitable. With that being said, just like it, you, you always get money, even if you do it at a yard sale. Like say if you don't want to go no car collision, you do it, it's people who come literally look for this stuff. Make sure they in good condition. Make sure they ain't pinning sleeve like the plastic that you put the car in and put them in a the box. Have a sale price on them. The real good ones you know, you know, put five dollar, whatever, you know what I'm saying? What well, everything's profitable. I just I just wanted to put that out there too. Like you even go to the car shows with that, and people be willing to buy them at a low price. You know what I mean? Especially when you get so many of them. So I don't make my mind, I ain't gonna really do no selling because the thing is, I ain't doing my homework. Like I told you, you always wanna have all your prices on what the market price is the day before. You come on, um, try to sell things. I ain't do that. I, did, I took too long making them clips for this video and I posted it last night, but I was watching the game. So I'm about to go in here, hopefully no copyright, which I ain't got no big channel, so I ain't tripping. And um, show y'all, man, give you a little walkthrough with it, what it looked like at these little small car shows. And I really just came to get some information. I just follow work with me. I block that out. Copyright. See, a lot of people, they be trading. See what they say? See, that's how some of the small trades go, just like that. They come out to the side and do it. See if I holler at Jim, see some of the people I talk to. You oh. can't see some of the car place, man. He be doing this. What's up, Jim? Dude, I'm not joking. Even Mark Aram, you know, on WSB, right? He set up last time, and he even walked in and goes, "Holy crap, Joe, this thing is nice." I mean, it's just—it's classy. I mean, it looks like I don't know. It's hard to say. It looks more like you know, you go to one of these. I just want to show you what it looks like in here. You see all these people, all types of stuff they selling. And then on both sides. You see, Mr. You see, Mr. Rick over there. I'm gonna come back over here in a minute. <laughs> that dude funny. You know what I mean? You see, you see, they do their card, do the vintage, do balls, football, baseball. And this is what I was saying before. Like sometimes guys, like you can also sell something, put them in a two dollar box. People will come buy them, man. They re they really would autographs. 
jerseys. Oh, the person you heard seen me was talking to, that was Jim. He wanted to do that, sets up these shops. He gave me something to listen for all the information. And, and we're going on with that. So you're looking at other people's collection of cars, what they selling for, they have prices. It's one of the small car shows, but when we do the one in coach, y'all gonna see. How you doing? How y'all doing? Nice, good. Got a lot of people who be selling, and then they sell a lot of these, these packages. Let's just get a walk through the whole thing. They got great cars. Man, trying to get a good look walk through. Like I told you today, I'm not even looking to sell because I didn't have my homework out. I'm just showing you, man, what some of the car shows is. Do a quick walk through. They go like, like these Pokemon out there. They go for a lot of money. Y'all can check out the channel. Okay. How you people see, they do sales, they do bidding. And then you, if so I come to you sold enough, I can tell you who gonna buy and who ain't gonna buy. Some of the people be the same faces. So I really can't do it for the content for my channel, man. Now you get a chance to look at the glasses. A lot of people. So I just did a walkthrough. So let's go talk, let's go talk to Reed. Old man Reed. That's what I tell you, dude so funny. He a true business man. He be having some good stuff though. He so tight, boy. He busy now, he working with a seller now. <laughs>